We got some post-fight conversation over here? I think so. Yeah, let's get it. Guess who's gonna get executed, because there's almost no reason to ever keep you alive. My dearest strays, once you've relieved the pious priestesses of their unnecessary baubles, make your way south to the estate of Lord Clayton. Words got round he's raised quite the sum for the dowry of his not-so-comely daughter. Can love truly be built upon a mound of coin? I think not. Let's save the poor lad from a unhappy marriage, shall we? Your Duke of Dogs, Earl of Mutts, High King of Huckleberries, his trampy highness, his sparky lordship. Gee. Dude likes titles, huh? There's that confused screaming happening. Is it the guy there? He doesn't look like he's being tortured at the moment, but he sounds like he is. Sure, you can bind a rabid dog, tie his four legs together, but you'll not stop him from lashing out and biting. Wow, you guys are committed to that, huh? You're not even the one wearing the mask. You bested us, I, but you'll not find the Duke of Dogs near as easy prey. Oh no! You bested us. He's a cartoon character. Yeah, the scream's definitely coming from him. All right, well, we're gonna have to we're, we'll mess him up before long. That was my first time getting to use my proper deck in a non-scripted scenario. Uh, but still not a no, still not a normal fight. Still a weird scenario because I was drawing inordinate numbers of cards and things were weird because of that. Your Majesty, the strays of Spala slaughtered the entire village. Witnesses claim folk had refused the brigands' aid. Had we the coin to give these poor souls a proper burial? Yes, of course. We shall honor local custom and send them to the afterlife. Look at me being so nice needlessly and not getting any reward for it. <laughs> Hooray! What do we got over here? Oh, right, the one new field medic. Could add her to the deck. Play a random ally from your graveyard. I mean, if I like the stuff in my deck enough, playing a random ally from my graveyard's pretty good. But having another one in there doesn't necessarily not make sense. They are very expensive, though. Take me up to 129. I mean, they're not very expensive, they're the cheapest unit in the, in the game besides this Scytheman. What I mean is that the, uh... I still haven't increased my maximum. Not yet. And that affects things. There's entire characters that don't show up in there. Just exempt. Not quite there. I would have been there a moment ago, but I, but I just used up that amount of, that part of my gold. I do want that gold bonus to offset all my moral choices I keep making. Uh, get one more gold pile and I'll probably have it. Like this one, maybe. This stash. There we go. Now I can buy it. I hope I don't suffer the... Uh, it's a little scary. We'll see. I might get punished in that I'm because I don't have the uh Yeah, I can afford this. I'm a little worried that if I have too little money that I might get punished by not being able to make a choice that requires money to, to make it. But we'll see. That's not good. <laughs> Oh boy, I bet that- is this just a fight fight? Standard battle. I haven't done one of these for a while. Behind the wall. Is it not curious how priestesses so earnestly employ others to put their faith in the goddess's protection and yet surrounding themselves with walls? Nine feet tall, nearly three feet thick, made of solid stone. A better guarantee of safety than even the most fervent of prayers, no doubt. Given the area in which they chose to erect their temple, this was probably for the best. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, it doesn't really stop the flying monsters, unfortunately. I'm enjoying this game. This is neat. I like Gwent. 
I find the mechanics of Gwent, even this version of it, more interesting than the Witcher combat. Even on the highest difficulty, I was just like, eh, I don't know. And some people criticize the fact that I, I strayed away from the... I strayed away from the, uh, what's it called? The, com the melee combat. And pe some people claimed it was more tactical if you did more melee combat, but for me, the melee combat just felt not great in the first place. Uh, so I kind of want to get away from that. What kind of people do I want? One thing to, that's always true is I, I don't want to have two pikemen in my in my party, uh, in my starting uh, inventory, because it's just really pointless to have two of them, because uh, the whole point is to draw the other one from the deck. The war wagon's pretty good. Reinhardt's pretty good. I like the arbalist. There's some good stuff in here. I don't have to redraw stuff, but I can. The regiment drummer being its own unit, plus drawing additional units, is rather welcoming, so I kind of like that idea. And you attacking is good. Plus 10's pretty good. Wow, that's a lot of units. Oh, I know this is the one that draws units. That's the one that does extra units. This is the one that does bonus damage based on how many extra units respond. Yeah, I don't know. This is... I, I think I'm cool with this. I haven't had enough time to develop strategies necessarily. The Rabid Forktail. Permanent Resilience. Status that allows the card to remain on the board at the round end and restores it to base power if boosted. It only says boosted, right? So it doesn't heal if I damage it? I don't know. Consume. Uh, after four turns on turn start, consumes the lowest unit. Hopefully it's their units. So it eats a unit and boosts by its power. If it's on the battlefield, destroy it. If in hand or deck, move it to the graveyard. If in the graveyard, remove it from the game. As for fork tails, bait them thusly. Pound a stake in the soil. Buy, uh, bind a goat to it. Then hide ye in near to shrubbery post haste. One question, though. Why is my hand so big? We're doing normal rounds, right? Huh. Did you... Did the tutorial set up a false impression of how this game was going to work? It seemed like we were going to draw three cards every turn. Are we back to the whole... I have a hand and I decide accordingly? Let's see. I might intentionally throw the first round if I can. But a regiment drummer is a great way to add additional units to the field to force them to keep going. Ah, the throwing around idea might not work very well considering the fact that he... Uh... Yeah. It may not be good news for the fact that he's powerful enough that he'll win by default, so I have to kind of overinvest to begin with. Hmm. And after a few rounds, I'll start consuming. Gotta make up my mind. So they don't have any abilities, but every four turns he's gonna eat somebody. Which if I start using... This guy, those guys are probably gonna be the ones that get attacked. Because they only have two power. Hmm. Well, if I can kill you, then you're gone. Question is, how much do I want to overinvest in trying to kill him in the early round? Or not? If I if I put too many people into into the effort of killing him, then we might lose further rounds afterwards. And my characters don't have resilience. Hmm. It's interesting to think about, especially since I've been under involved a little bit. Let's just try to kill on the first turn, maybe. You can't attack me, right? No. To the wagon. And then move you over to boost it a little bit. What do you do? Spawns additional... Spawns a harpy egg. So it has four... On this turn's end, spawn one harpy egg. Is that every turn? Or what? What is this turn? It doesn't say... 
I think it's every turn because it doesn't it doesn't say the what's the word deploy death wish trigger the ability uh, this ability uh, oh the death the death wish of the harpy egg is spawn a harpy so if I attack a harpy egg it becomes a harpy so attacking it doubles its power basically which is a problem because my arbalists attack random units when they are inspired and having them attack the egg randomly will cause more harpies. Great. <laughs> if I hear a townsman complain about their pigeon problem one more time. Yeah, harpy egg, death wish spawn a harpy. Status that removes the unit from the game after it moves to the graveyard. Oh, that's the banishing thing, right? It's just that it doesn't it does not go to the graveyard, it just goes away entirely. It's like a token. Uh a happy, a harpy egg omelet, a delicious delicacy, good sir. Quite dear, too, for, as you might surmise, the wretches don't part with their eggs willingly. Okay. I want to build up my power and attack that guy. I've got this guy built. So I'm ready to go in with the war wagons. Interesting that's two on the right. I mean, you could still spawn one here and have two to the right, which means you could still put the fat guy in the middle and spawn more of them. So it's still pretty effective. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out how to kill this guy while also winning the round is the concern. Hoping for the best here. Let's see. I could attack now, but I'm kind of hoping that more guys will show up in the back row and I can do some significant damage overall. In addition to killing him, which it's going to be a bit before I'm ready for that. Slizard. Alright. The Slizard. Every turn on turn start, increase the counter by one and damage a random enemy by two. Death wish. Multiply the unit's counter by three and damage a unit by that amount. Oh. So when it dies, it kills- it hurts somebody by this number times three. But also, it'll damage a random enemy by two every turn. No man alive, no matter his brawn, no matter his skill, can parry a blow dealt by the tail of a slizzard, the pincers of a giant scorpion, or the claws of a griffin. So it's going to do two damage every turn, and on top of that, it's going to do major damage if I let it live. Great. Great. Uh, and I'm trying to do an AoE that kills it, too. Great. I should have played the other Wagenberg, too. I forgot, basically. Uh... I need to play that. Except that, yeah, no, I'll, I think I'll save you for the next round. I gotta remember. It's gonna take some practice to get used to this because I have not played real matches of this game, really. I'll remind you. If I play this guy down, this will be a 6 damage attack, which would be nice. But if I play you, you will attack for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 damage, then he'll attack for 4 damage, killing the Rabbit Forktail. I think that's the way to go. Let's just get the kill. And then probably throw the round at that point. Yeah, at this point I've defeated the boss and I've won. It was important that I take out that enemy in one turn only, because if he survived the turn, he would just heal. But also, like, if I... even if I won the round, he would just be around next turn, giving them a free unit every round. Now the question is, can I defeat them next round? I need to defeat them for at least one round. I'm going to... pass. 
At this point, I have the lead, so he's going to have to play a bunch of cards in order to catch up with how much power I have on the board. Which will hopefully lead to him just depleting his hand. Or he plays one card and it does it. Shit. Alright, I lost, but I defeated the dragon. Thing. <clears throat> it's always a gamble being that far in the lead. If you're in the lead, there's still the problem that you have to play a card every round. Choose a card to redraw? I still get to redraw when I'm... This is weird. I wouldn't expect to be able to redraw so much when I'm... <clears throat> This far in. Is this my entire hand? Wait, is... Oh, this is my entire hand. Not even just including the, uh... What I just drew into it. It's amazing how not sure of the rules I am, despite playing the tutorial. I think I want... I can play these guys and then do the boost. And then it'll be hard for them to beat that. These guys draw additional units, so having them in my hand is great, because they'll draw more units from the other hand. This does the big AoE. No, I mean, I'm, I mean, I like my deck, generally. Uh, hide cards. Ah, the light infantry, though. It sucks that they're in the graveyard. They count? Because getting the a war wagon or something would be nice, so I'm a little tempted to trade some of these guys with the hope of getting, like, medics, because that'd be nice, but it's a, like a fi almost 50% chance of drawing a light infantry, which is just not that good, except for their death effect being actually kind of good. I'm gonna stick it. I'm gonna stick with it. The Slizzard's back. Hooray. Gonna be, it's pretty hard to kill him in the first turn. Gonna have to live with that. Or just don't kill it. If I just don't kill it, then the damage it does won't matter. But it does do two damage every turn, which blows. Do I just want to start spewing the Scythemen everywhere and then stop? Let's see. You're already at six. If I do loyal, you'll boost up to... It'll be an 11. Placing three of you, they'll be, we'll be at 33 from three units. Plus this will give them 37 from three units. And then I can save all the other ones for the finale if I wanted to. It's the most effective way to use my uh, loyal to boost numbers. See, I have no arbalist, so loyal only affects these guys. Yeah. I think I may go with that. My spirit's willing and how the these damn boots are killing me. These damn boots are killing me. I don't want to use my buff until ow. Yeah, that's what Mmm. Didn't know about that. Forktail. Deploy. Consume the three lowest allies? Huh. As for forktails, bait them thusly. Bound, pound a stake in the soil. Bind a goat to it. And hide you know, near to shrubbery. Yeah, it's the same enemy, right? It's just a different one? The other one had a completely different rule where every four turns it was going to eat the lowest thing and it was going to stay around. This one has the ability of consuming the three lowest allies. Eat a unit and boost by its power. Yeah. Though thankfully there's only one unit on the field, so it's not that strong. It killed my other dude, though. How did it kill me? Wait, how did it kill me, though? It doesn't have an attack. Oh, the death wish. It ki that's it killed the slizzard, and the slizzard uses death wish. Damn. Alright, thankfully there wasn't a lot of units on the board, so it's not that strong. Not good news, though. This thing won't attack additionally, though, so I don't have to worry about killing it. I just have to worry about how much it's worth. Which I can deal with.
I think I'm gonna leave the pikemen the, and the drummers and the Wagenburg for the next round to build up a big attack. I think I'm still gonna try to focus on the scythemen. Well, at least now I won't take damage every turn unless they do something else. Passed. Was not expecting them to pass. Five and four is nine. Nine plus six is 15, which is a win. So I don't need to use any of my cards. Yes, I do, huh? You're gonna make me use one of my cards now, aren't you? Shit, I didn't think about that. <laughs> They're gonna require me to play another card because of the fact that I, uh... Yeah, if you use an ability, you have to play a card. I can't pass or end my turn. Damn it. Well, the pikeman's less valuable than the drummer, right? Because the drummer's a 5-3 that adds an additional unit, where this is going to just add another 4. The extra charge is probably worth keeping, and it's also a strong card. And you become strong with the boost, which I can use again, and that's a very strong boost, so... I guess I'll use the pikeman. Damn it. If I realized that, I could have just saved my power and used a... One of my units, I suppose. We win, though. You won the round. Now we're all in. So you draw three cards per turn, like they said before. It's just they were giving me a hand of only three for whatever reason. They let me redraw way more often than I would ever expect. Like, it seems strange to me how often they let, they let me redraw. How much is left in my deck to even get drawn by these drummers? Huh. I'm probably underutilizing the redraw, but I'm just getting used to my deck and all the weird quirks of it. I don't really have a plan necessarily for it. Stuff has a range potentially, so I think I want to use the back row more. This Arbalist only has a range of two. Hmm. Let's get you played. I'll start spamming the units to make it stronger. Do I already have the power again? I do. Does it replenish every round automatically? Or... Yeah. Huh. I thought the countdown continued into the next round, but it might reset every time we start a new round. That's something that directly... The Harpy Egg directly counteracts the uh, the concept of uh, a Wagenburg with what it does. You can try to win them all, but you won't. I don't think they'll be able to win this. I should be pretty scary at this point with my power generation that I have. Oh, you didn't spawn on the same row as your egg, because that's a weird choice. That means I can attack you with impunity. Is that sh are you sure that's what you want to do? <laughs> Place a copy of each adjacent unit from your deck. But it has to be from my deck, right? Which, I think I only have two of the wagon. Yeah. One war wagon and one wagon burger both in the graveyard, which means they're not in my deck, which means I can't do that again. Ooh, but what if I place... I do have Arbalus. Ooh, that's a good combo for later. It's also tempting to put two drummers next to each other, and then putting him between them to summon two more drummers, which then summons two more units. Uh, I might have every drummer in my hand, though, is the problem. I don't think I have that many drummers. For that move. Probably not quite enough. Let's see. You two can move away in preparation for the idea of playing him to make them come back later. To make this even stronger. In the meantime, I'll place you. 
And I'll boost you. Should I boost you or somebody else? Eh. Oh, no, I want... I do want these guys to die because of the damage they do. So I'll boost you. So now he's way too strong. Ooh. You ate the eggs? And they still... What? He ate eggs and they still became harpies. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Shit, there's some meta right there. Our synergy, that works in a terrifying manner. Oh boy. No like. No like at all. Let's destroy the back row. It'll only give me it'll give me one harpy, but kill the other the other three. Oh, and he spawns on the front row. Interesting. Okay. None of these people have... Oh, you guys have orders. Hmm. Left, right, left, right. We'll see how this goes. Okay, how many fork tails do you have? Oh no. This is a legitimately scary system. Is this entire deck fork tails and harpies? What a system. Please yeah, draw somebody for me, please. Ah, you don't listen to me, old lady. Hmm. I could do with a couple of those guys, especially with how they react to the inspiration. I should have more I should have more of these in my deck. Oh no, there was only one more left in my deck. That sucks. Still I can make them very powerful. That's at least something to work with. We got 81. It's gonna be a little harder for him to top that, right? I thought I had one more in my deck, hopefully, to really round it out. So, the wagon bird's back at four. I can kill the harpies at least. Not the biggest effect, but it'll damage the fork tail too, and they won't be healing anymore. Ah. That's his whole deck. It's a brutal little system, isn't it? Not a fan of that. Okay. I could do... If I attacked with it this turn... I could technically be like... It'd be like 2, 4, 4, or so... Nah. No, I think I want to play it later when I have as many units as possible, but also so I can do more damage to the tails themselves. That's more maximum damage, I suppose. Do I still have blitzes to draw at this point? There we go, it takes a spike out of you at least. Or a chunk out of you, a spike. It's something. Please kill these guys, I dare you. Oh wow, do, do you have an attack? Oh no. The Seleno Harpy. Transform all Harpy eggs into Harpies and boost self by three for each one transformed. I didn't know that was a thing. It's another, so the, this is a Harpy deck. It just keeps stacking harpy effects. Common harpies feed on carrion. Seleno harpies, they feed on dreams. That's a poignant moment, I guess. All right, uh, you ready for this guy again? Cool. I, can, I need a damage. I need a boost on some of these characters. Dude, that'll this will increase 
Oh, do they all get a plus five every time I do this? That's curious. Oh, they do. Oh, y'all are in trouble. In addition to that random spike of damage that is disappointing a little bit, but, it, it, you know, they tried. Again, again, again. This is too many drummers. I'm not going to be able to do something with all of them. <laughs> like, I won't have enough deck left. Especially knowing that there's no way that the- oh, wow, he almost made it. He almost killed them. I won't have enough deck left, especially knowing that the, the, the medics and whatnot aren't even blitzers. Yes. Really just generally causing damage as much as I can. Still need to play a card. I'll try another drummer. I mean... Maybe, maybe, it, maybe I'll get to use him next turn. I don't know if there's anyone left to draw from the deck. Then I'll play you and I'll blast a bunch of them. And, we, I mean, we've already won more or less, but it's fun. I hope they're dumb enough to blow these guys up and take 10 damage. The Griffin. Move a random enemy to the row opposite this unit and damage all enemies on it by one. Ah. Griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat them alive, piece by piece. That poor, that poor ram's having a bad day. What are a wyvern? Bunch of oh, you're trying to kill my summoner. I need that summoner to summon. Boost self by the number of other units on the row and damage an enemy by the same amount. Ooh. Huh. So it do, it attacks the same way that my archers do or my arbalists do, but also it becomes that power instead of just shooting that pe that amount of damage, which is probably better. Oh, especially since it boosts itself. It doesn't become the number, it boosts itself by that number. I think it attacks by five, though, right? Like, it went up from three to eight, but I think it attacked with the five, not the eight, right? Imagine a cross between a winged snake and a nightmare. Wyverns are worse. A winged snake and a nightmare. Oh, there was another Arbalist to draw. Damn. Bad time for you guys. I gotta find targets to shoot that'll actually take the damage. Uh... There's no reason to kill any of you guys, is there? Just spread the damage around. Huh. Wh which one do I want to use my... I want to use the AoE on the bottom row, I think, because that's the one that doesn't have eggs on it. So let's attack the top row. Since this guy's going to attack the bottom row. Uh, and so I, I don't want to infringe upon the damage that they're capable of doing thus. Trying to attack my summoners. Yay! Random shots! Is it gonna summon a harpy? No. Nope. We must trust each other. Now things get really weird and eventful all of a sudden. Is there, there are oh my god, there is more to draw. Oh my god. Oh, I can't do the event anymore because I am out of... Those are my two medics. I've, I've used every card in my deck except for the two medics. Wow. Games of Gwent have gotten more bombastic, I guess. This is like a bunch of crazy stuff's happening. All right, let's do a, ton of, a lot of damage to the front row. Not a lot of you guys left now. So there's no uh, orders I can use now. I can't use their orders because there's no space down here to move to, and I can't use their orders because there's nothing else to draw because the medics are not blitz units. So all that's left is to play this next turn. I've pretty thoroughly won at this point. And yet I'm somehow still intimidated by their units because they got spooky, crazy effects that I'm not ready for. Everything's a surprise at this point in the game because I don't know what, what to expect. Here, you, you do like you have a drinking problem. Here you go. Uh, yeah, that's it. What are you gonna do, enemies? You have one card left. They didn't have that many more surprises in store. There we go. This is fun. It's, it's, it's a... I wasn't really at that much risk of losing, but I didn't know what was in store for me so was every single monster surprise every every monster thing that came in i was like oh that's really cool that's neat i'm terrified i'm in trouble aren't i 
but I never was fully in trouble the way I thought I was. But that harpy, that just, even though the numbers weren't there, there's just something intimidating about the harpy loops, where every harpy egg generates more harpies, but also there were systems to just force me to the harpy eggs to happen on their own, whether I was going to do them or not. So it's like, oh, I'm like, oh, I'll avoid those eggs. I'm like, no, the eggs are hatching anyway. So it felt like something bad was happening as a result. Fortune smiles upon us. Those priestesses bought my story, blubbering and all. They accept me as a pupil. But getting me hands on the cellar key. Like, you wrote a note in your, in your accent? <laughs> but getting my hands on a cellar key was the tricky part. Still, I've gotten it now, too. Uh, they've riches stacked to the ceiling. Gods be praised indeed. Wait for me tomorrow night at the foot of the embankment at the south wall. I'll carry what I can manage. P.S. Keep an eye out. Probably just a wives' tale, but I got word of some sort of nastiness has taken root in the wood. Oh boy. Well, you're the one that knew about the rumor and you still ran into it. Or was he the guy that told to, to wait there? Building up a little supplies. Lots of wood. That was a cool little encounter. I'm glad I took care of the big bad in the first round. But was less excited when I then also lost the first round. I just wasn't willing to commit more cards when I was already winning. By a fair margin. But then they took care of that in one in one play. Uh, I should talk to them, right? That, about what happened? Nail. And pay homage to the gods. You shall be rewarded. All right. How do I do that? Click, Nail. Clicky, Nail. clicky, clicky, clicky. It won't work. It won't work. How do I work? Make it work. All right. Well, these people are the ones that wanted the help. Can, do they? Is there like a thank you or a follow-up dialogue? <laughs> Melitale will not forget your sacrifice. Nor will her faithful servants. Not They're happy about that, I guess. And how about this one with the shrine? Having my bonus definitely helped a bit with the fight, but it wasn't necessary. Thank you, Your Majesty. On our own behalf, and on that of our pilgrims. Yeah, it seems like the quest mostly resolved itself in the moment. When I dealt with the uh, the rival, oh yeah, I have to remind myself that was the it was the rival it was the uh, the criminals, not the dragon. That was an unrelated other surprise that nobody seemed to be telling me what that they were in trouble with. My lady, there's a horrible dragon monster eating our people right there, like right around the corner. But we're only asking you to take care of this other problem. Did I finish the zone? Oh yeah, look, there's the. The border of sketches, just like on the, uh, that they, like they had decorating the borders of, uh, Kingdom Come. That's what I, that's what I meant more when I talked about the, the, the distortion, like the scales all over the place. Because it, like, just transitions between, like, look at this nice scale drawing to mega river to mega hills to all that and so on. It's, it's kind of perspective, but it's not drawn like it's perspective. And that I was using that as a comparison to what it looks like when I'm running around the map itself, where nothing seems to be uh, scaled with my body either. All the people are taller than their houses and and that kind of thing. It's it's an art style. <laughs>